Samantha, you haven't found that thing yet? Look, I'm expecting somebody for dinner, and I want you out of here. No, I cannot go out with just one earring. Why not? Because my boyfriend only wears one. Well, together you'll make one well-dressed woman. <laughs> Where you going? Katie and I are double dating. We're going to championship wrestling. Hi. Hi, Katie. I came over early so we could have a chance to talk. That's good, honey. Call me tomorrow. We can talk on the phone. Come on, darling. I don't want you to be late for your wrestling match. And don't sit too close to the ring. I hear that Andre the Giant sweats a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jonathan, Julie, come on down. You will be late for your movie. No, we're not going to the movies. A hypochondriac says he's feeling feverish. Well, then you better take him to the hospital, because you can get a double room there. <laughs> No, I get the feeling you're trying to get rid of us. Julie, do you have any idea who's coming to dinner tonight? Just Harvey Bristol. Just Harvey Bristol? Julie, you don't call the most eligible podiatrist in Glenlawn just Harvey Bristol. Now, is there something serious between you and her? No, 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 don't be silly. I've only gone out with him a couple of times. But keep June open. <laughs> well, I think Harvey will have fun with you and Joey tonight. Yeah. There's just one teensy wincy problem. What's that? Harvey doesn't like kids. Well, what did he say when you told him about Joey? Nothing. I haven't told him yet. Oh, so you invited him over tonight to tell him about Joey. Joey must be nervous. Not really. I haven't told Joey about Harvey yet either. No, you mean you're just Listen, don't worry about it. She's gonna work out just fine. Harvey will love Joey the moment he lays eyes on him and vice versa. I mean, I know that. You know that. Everybody knows that. I mean, Joey is not like ordinary kids. I mean, he's much more grown up. Hey, and now you should have seen it. Timmy Singleman just threw up in the school bus all over Mrs. Garrison's boy with a me. No, please. I never learned how to read a thermometer right. I think I have a fever. 98.6. You'll live to be 100. Come on, don't be late for <laughs> Well, maybe her doctor friend will be here when we get back. Jonathan, he's a foot doctor. My feet are hot, too. <laughs> Joey, I want you to go upstairs and put on your dark blue coat and your yellow bow tie. Why? It's Wednesday. Well, honey, the reason I want you to put on your coat and tie is because I want you to look like a little gentleman when you meet Harvey. Who's he? Well, honey, he, he's it's a guy I've been dating. He's a doctor. A podiatrist. A podiatrist? Yeah, that's a foot doctor. Oh, like Dr. Shaw. <laughs> He's not that rich. <laughs> Look, Joey, I want you to make a good impression because, well, I've been seeing a lot of Harvey lately, and, well, lately it's been getting kind of serious. But I have a problem. See, he doesn't know that I have a little boy. He doesn't know about you yet. Well, if he doesn't know about me, I'll just stay in my room, and then I won't have to wear my coat and tie. <laughs> Joey, get your butt upstairs and put your coat and tie on, okay? <laughs> Come on. A coat and tie Wednesday. Yeah, no, is this guy really that big a deal? Well, honey, let me put it this way. Take Gertrude, okay? She's a happy fish. But Gertrude would be much happier if she had a Gus. <laughs> and I'm just like Gertrude. I'm just swimming through life looking for my Gus. And I think I got a nibble. <laughs> okay, Ed, now, but if I gotta wear a coat and tie, you better be making something pretty good for dinner. Beef stroganoff. I hate Italian food. <laughs> Coming. Hi, Simpson. Hi, Nell. Now, this is my cousin, Helen Hooper. Helen, my friend, Nell Harper. Harper, Hooper, Hooper, Harper. <laughs> Hi, Anel. Helen's husband's being transferred to Glenlawn, so I'm taking her to look at a house for rent. And now, you know how landlords could be about kids. Oh. So I was hoping maybe you could watch Helen's children just while we go look. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. Look, I'm expecting someone over for dinner, and frankly, he's not too crazy about kids. Well, the place ain't far from here, Nell. 
It wouldn't take more than maybe half an hour there and back. I'll take her in the squad car. I'll turn on the siren. I'd love to do that. <laughs> Okay, Simpson, but don't take too long, okay? Oh, bless you. See, oh. Helen, I told you, Nell is a saint among the living. Oh. <laughs> Come oh. on, kids. Like, they won't be any trouble. Right. But they could probably use a nap. Okay. Oh, aren't you cute? <laughs> oh, so are you. <laughs> ah, and you're the cutest little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be cheaper if you and your husband just collected stamps? We adopted them all from the room for one more program. <laughs> oh. Now I know a room that would be perfect. Dodger Stadium. They're great kids, Nell. You won't even know they're here. Li Ping over there is from Vietnam. And let's see, Kayoku is from... Kayoki. Kayoki is from Nairobi. And Pierre is from Guadalupe. And Michael here is from Ireland. And when Je Irish eyes are smiling... Knock it off, Michael. <laughs> see, some of the kids are still learning to talk English, Nell, but they're good kids. We'll see you in about a half an hour, huh? Bye-bye, okay. little cousins. Bye. And don't you start any fires. <laughs> I mean, where did all these kids come from? Joey, these are our guests for the next half hour. Once you go over and introduce yourself and be nice. Hi, hi. Stop that. <laughs> oh, no, Simpson. No, 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 Landlords don't like Pepsi. What? <laughs> don't cry, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, we didn't know what happened. Well, Japan hit China, then Liberia jumped in to stop it. Just my poor career right into the piano bench. Come on, honey. Go out there and play. Joey, get out there and cry down that ugly crowd. Hello. Uh, hello, Nell. Simpson? It's five o'clock. Do you know where your children are? I'm sorry, Nell. We was on our way back when I got an emergency call. Some guy's on a ledge threatening to jump. That's all right, Simpson. It's not your fault some guy wants to kill himself. Is it? Go oh, now, Nell. Goodbye. I blame you for being bored, but you have to be quiet while I go make dinner, okay? I have a better idea. Why don't I teach you a song and you can sing while I go make my beef stroganoff, okay? What you want to sing? When Irish eyes are smiling. Knock it off, Michael. <laughs> Everybody say, me, 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 me. Can't they play with anything without breaking it? They're tired of singing. Joey, let the mother in. Pop. Come on, you got to go home. You're going home. There you go. Here, stand up. You're welcome. No! Yes. It's a guy in a three-piece suit with a bunch of roses. No, can't be Harvey's only 5.30. Excuse me. Excuse me. It is Harvey, and it's only 5.30. Shh, shh. I have a wonderful idea. We're all going to go upstairs, and we're going to play that international game called Shut Up. <laughs> and the one who's the quietest will get $100 a week for the rest of his life. Shh. What's this? What's this? Joey, get them upstairs, get them in your room, and you keep them quiet. I hear one word, you a dead man. Go on. <laughs> Coming! <laughs> Harvey! Oh, what beautiful.
for flowers. Just let me put some, put them in water. Take them about a half hour. Standing out fair. Come on in. Oh, baby, I know you said six o'clock, but I just had to get out of that office. This has been the worst day of my life. Oh, it's been a wonderful day for me. Boy, what a comfortable looking house. I do <laughs> like the look of this couch. Oh, oh, this is heaven. Oh. No, I should have never left the house today. On my way to work, my transmission went. Fast as I could go was eight miles an hour. <laughs> then I find out my 81 tax returns are being audited. Then to top all that off, I get this paper cut opening an envelope that said I'm being sued for malpractice. But you're a foot doctor. How can you be guilty of malpractice? That's my defense. <laughs> anyway, come here, man. When I lish <laughs> What's that? An Irish ballad. Excuse me. We have a little problem here. <laughs> yeah, I'll take care of that right now. Harvey Bristol, I'd like you to meet Joey Donovan. Joey, this is Harvey. Harvey, this is Joey. Well, now that you two have met, you see, Harvey, uh, <laughs> I wanted you to meet Joey, and I wanted Joey to meet you. You see, Joey is, um, uh, Joey is my little boy. <laughs> I'm raising him. Oh. Uh, Nao, <clears throat> why didn't you tell me about him? Well, I was waiting for the right moment to introduce you. To yeah. Each other. And I want you to like each other. Because she thinks you might be her Gus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be that darn cat chasing his tail again. Uh, uh, Joey, why don't you sit down and chat? Joey is very good at that. Why don't you sit down, honey? Sit down. Oh, you two look so nice together, just like a Kodak commercial. And I'm just so happy that you like each other. I'll be right back. I have to take care of this. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Wanna play Yahtzee? No. <coughs> Me neither. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Give it back, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Just go to bed, lay down, lay down, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. right now. Shh, lay down, lay down. I'm sick, lay down, lay down. You're Irish, don't you understand English? Lay down. Shh, shh. Now, I want everybody to take a nap. Do you understand the word nap? <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Why don't we sing that song you taught us? What do we got to sing about? <laughs> the last thing we want to do is to keep up any noise. I want you to be as quiet as a mouse. Does everyone understand the word mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, 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 quick. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> See how easy that was? And you didn't even have to leave the room. Okay? Now listen, you little ones, you lay back and take a nap. You big ones sit up there and you watch them sleep. When they get up, you lay down and take a nap, and you get up, you watch them sleep. <laughs> says you're a foot doctor. Yes, yes, I am. Must be a great job. I mean, most people walk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, um, it's a shame, Joey, but podiatrists have always lived in the medical world's shadow. And healthy feet are very important. 
Your feet are your friends. <laughs> Hey, you know where they're holding the podiatrist convention this year? Under the golden arches. <laughs> See, if you were a podiatrist, you'd think that was funny. Are you sure you don't want to play Yahtzee? <laughs> Hello? Oh, Simpson, yes. Yes, I'm glad he didn't jump. But I'm getting ready, too. Simpson, I can't wait that long. Then tell Helen to take the bus over here. Where are you? OK, here's what she does, OK? You take the number two bus to Maple. <laughs> then you change at Broadway. Now, you ask for a blue transfer, OK? Then you take the number six bus. It stops one block from our house. Huh? Yes, Simpson, I know it's a lot to remember. But if you can save a human life, you can find the number two bus to Maple. <laughs> you aren't having any fun, are you? Oh, look, I'm sorry, Joey. See, Joey, all this has been quite a surprise for me. You see, I didn't know that Nail had a <laughs> Child. <laughs> Who is that? I won. Where'd all these kids come from? The bedroom. <laughs> that's Kenya, that's Greece, that's India, that's Peru. And I'm Alabama. <laughs> Mayo, where did all oh, of these... Oh, honey, you're not gonna believe what I have to tell you. <laughs> well, right now, I would believe anything. Oh, yeah? Well, then there's another 127 of them in the attic. <laughs> have an attic. We joke, we kid, we have fun, we laugh in this house, don't we, Joey? <laughs> Wait till he find out there's no beef stroganoff. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, actually, I I'm babysitting for a friend. Uh, I, I didn't even know they were gonna be here, but they won't be in trouble, will you? I mean, they'll be as quiet as a little mouse. Very <laughs> cute. Very cute. Uh, listen, why don't we just make this into a party? I'll call for some pizza. We can play some oh, games. Yeah! I am not going to be stuck here all night with a million kids. Look, uh, you go ahead, you have your party, and uh, I'll see you later. Real Harvey. nice meeting you, Joey. Wait, Harvey. Harvey, uh, Harvey wait. Uh, this is not exactly the evening I had in mind. Then why didn't you tell me about Joey? Oh, Harvey, believe me, if this was an ordinary night and all those kids weren't here, you would love Joey. Look, Neil, I'm sorry. I'm sure Joey is probably a very nice kid, but I'm not looking for a ready-made family. I just don't think I need kids in my life right now. I'll see you again someday. You've got to stop wearing those pointed-toed shoes, too. You're ruining your metatarsals. <laughs> Right. Kids are a pain. <laughs> Shut out. <laughs> it's all my fault, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> I've been thinking. Maybe Harvey wouldn't have gotten so mad if. I weren't around. Oh, Joey, please. No, I mean it. Aunt Nell, 
You can send me to boarding school. I saw the movie Annie. <laughs> Joey, just how long do you think I would last around here without you? Meet a guy, Aunt Nell. Look, you're pretty. You're a lot of fun. You're not a bad cook. What? You're a great cook. <laughs> is this a proposal? <gasps> oh, what is it now? Freeze! All right, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. I don't want you to move an inch until your mama comes back here. I have to go to the bathroom. Do whatever you have to do, but don't you move! <laughs> How could anybody in their right mind adopt 15 kids? What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. What the world Yes, Simpson. <laughs> Take as long as you have to, okay? Okay. I think we have time for maybe two more songs. Hit it. Mm -hmm. 